Hey guys, welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Rob. And I'm Graham. And today we have a fun video, a uh, Funko Pop video, on an old show that started in 1991, first aired in 1991, and ended in 1994, called Dinosaurs. This is our first episode actually going over like a whole set. Yeah, yeah, this is the, the whole set, the whole line. Uh, very excited about it. Uh, as of right now, they don't have... I don't believe they have any exclusives or chases. Uh, I got them on Amazon. Okay. I actually got them for my birthday. Um, my wife and my mom uh, actually went in together and my mom because she knew when I was a kid. So it meant something to her to get her mm -hmm. 31 year old kid, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, kind of bring back that that memory. I'm, I'm a, bi a big nostalgia guy. so. Yeah, and for, and for anybody that's younger than 30, you might not either know anything about the Dinosaur Show or even remember it. Right. We watched it as a kid. It was always on TGIF. Yeah. And uh, we were excited about it. And I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending wasn't that great. It's depressing. I, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Like, what? <laughs> but they kind of remind me of The Simpsons a little bit, too. You know, this modern family that's, it's like dinosaurs set in modern life. Yeah. Kind of yeah. dysfunctional. You know, back and, and it forth. was all like costume based too. So yep. you know, it was kind of cool. Reminded me of the the original Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, not as big of a budget, but you know, it, it was it was different. Something you haven't seen since. So I used to have these toys as a kid, which is really cool. Um, but I'm gonna start. We're gonna start with the dad, with Earl Sinclair. Earl's got his little shirt on, his little button up. Um, definitely, definitely did, did a good job on his face. So something I noticed with Earl as well is he's the only one out of the five that doesn't have a prop. Oh yeah, but yeah. he's he's got that stance or that that he's gesture that. that's like his yeah. calling card where he just did it all the time and it, I think Honey. it works perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> so I think that's yeah. a I think that was a really great. He could have maybe held his lunchbox, but I think this pose yeah. looks great. And that could be an yeah, exclusive with his hard hat and a lunchbox. Yeah, uh, like a chase or something would be yeah. cool with a hard hat. That would be really cool. We, we also have his wife, Fran Sinclair. She's cooking. Okay, she's she's that pretty mom that her daughter looks up to kind of thing. Not really looks up to, but definitely looks like. Uh, very similar features, which I always thought was funny because um, I just I felt like they all looked alike, but then the, the baby will get to him. But, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Fran, Fran always scared me. Really? Yeah. Even though I just said she's pretty, but she was like always the one that was kind of scary. Uh, which does remind me that one horror episode, there's like a scary episode where like I think Robbie turns into a werewolf or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one episode I used to watch all the time. But yeah, Fran, Fran Sinclair, she's cooking. She's got her little spoon, her wooden spoon. Uh, I thought they did a pretty good job on her. She's got the makeup on her eyes. Um, very good detail again with the shirt. Uh, it has the, the cooking apron on, fingernails painted. Um, all the paintwork is pretty good, no chips or anything. Uh, but yeah, Charlene, she was always kind of the prissy, you know, daughter, um, you know. But it's fitting that she has the mirror in her hand. Exactly. She's always look, making sure her looks were good. Yep. Going and, on dates. And, if you look at her her shirt, I know everybody's shirt is kind of small, um, but with her, it almost looks like it's showing part of her, like her belly, like you know a oh, typical yeah, teenager would nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I always thought she was she was pretty cool. Then we have Robbie, of course, holding his skateboards, got his uh, high school you know Letterman jacket on. Uh, well, without the letter, but it kind of reminds me of a Letterman jacket. He's got his tennis shoes on. Looks like Converse's. And then, of course, we have Baby. Not the <laughs> not mama. The mama. Not the mama. <laughs> Everything I remember about dinosaurs is him hitting his dad in the yep. head. Him and the frying him pan. and Earl going at it back yep. and forth. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, the box on this one is more damaged than the other ones at the top. But that's okay. I'm probably going to have all of these out anyway. Um, I kind of do that to all the nostalgia stuff that I have, like Jurassic Park and and dinosaurs now so and i um, and i photographed these together so i mean they all looked they all look really great together yeah. outside of the box like if you can set them up like a family it looks good yeah that's that's really cool i i'd like to get like a in the corner like some 
like jungle leaves or something kind of over the top of them and then they're kind of there i also want to do like some photos with dinosaurs chasing the uh jurassic park vehicle yep. you know and kind of funny but yeah graham which one do you like best and which one do you like least if you had to pick my favorite character in the show i thought was the baby but i okay. also enjoy enjoyed earl a lot and i liked yeah. their back and forth that they had so looking at these pops i i do like the baby the best i thought okay. even down to his fingernails the detail yeah. was really they're good they're kind of long a little bit yep. yeah and and then and I think the pose itself is really nostalgic, like you said, to the show itself. Right. But then Earl Earl also, like, I would want the baby the most, but I, I think if I were to get the baby, I'd almost have to get Earl to pose him with. Yeah, right. And the other three, you know, I could live without, but um, yeah, I would I would have to get those two for sure. Yeah. How about you? Which one's your I, favorite? My, my favorite character on the show was Earl, uh, the father. and But my favorite pop, I'd have to go with Robbie. And not just because we share names, but because of all the detail he's got with the skateboard, the shoes, and everything, he kind of, kind of looks most like the character from the show. I well, even it. when you take him out of the box and you look at the back of his coat, I can't remember what it says off the top of my head, but the detail in the back of his coat is really, really crisp and clean as well. I mean, they did a really good job on these pops. I couldn't find any paint bleeds or anything like that. The mom and the the daughter i can kind of live without but i think the mom was my kind of my least favorite character yeah but there's only five and if i'm gonna get three i might as well get the other yeah. two yeah i agree so a couple pops that in the dinosaur line that i kind of hope they make uh would be the grandma she was really funny yes she had a i think a really good um story <clears throat> maybe not story but she had a really good personality in the story she did. and then we were talking about another one that I'll let you talk about. Oh yeah, the uh, the boss. He's he's like a triceratops, you know, a little bit different looking. It'd be a really cool pop. It'd be a really cool six inch pop, but I don't think that would ever happen. What's, like you said, being like in his little RV, yeah. kind of make it like a yeah, that'd be really cool. It'll just squeezed in there. Yeah. It was a fun show, and um, I, I'd like to go back to it. I I did go back to that show when I was in high school, um, when I got the DVDs mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, it was still fun. It was still fun to watch. Uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you got a good look at these Funko Pops. Yeah. Uh, I think it's safe to say that Rob and I would both urge you to get these if you can. If you have any uh, interest in the show, start watching. It's only three seasons. It's not going to take yep. you you know, weeks to watch. So, um, yeah, and if you haven't, uh, give us a like on this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos coming out. <laughs> Gotta get to 100. Yep, we're, we're almost there. We might be there by the time this video gets out. We might be True. there. But we are doing a giveaway. Yep. Once we hit 100. But you have to be a subscriber. You have to. You have to. And I don't want to see you unsubscribing afterwards. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching our show. Thanks for always tuning in. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.